So this resource right here is a pretty big one and it can maybe be really overwhelming. So if you need help, reach out to Tara or myself. Um, but this is your preference and reinforcement assessments. There are nine of them. Um, again, it could be really overwhelming. So if you need some help, feel free to reach out to us and we can kind of talk through what one would be best for your class, um, which one might be best for your students as well. So on slide two is just a quick overview because there are so many, you can kind of quickly read these one sentence to two sentence um, definitions of what each of these summaries or assessments are. If you're interested, you can then click to that slide and it will take you to that slide with more activities that you can copy and see more directions. Some of them are kind of self-explanatory, but others it might require you to like read a little bit more or to watch a video. Um, so again, it kind of focuses on motivations and those reinforcers for students to help know, okay, if students enjoy this, I can keep doing this to perform, you know, more positive behavior. So let's look at this one, the sensory one. This one is a Google Sheet. So again, you would just click, you'll make a copy of all of these different assessments that you want to use. And with this one, you will administer it and you'll have the students complete it. You might want to go over it with your students. And again, there's a PDF version, so check the speaker notes. Um, sometimes there's additional resources down there. Here, students would just click um, if it applies to them. And if it does, you'll see it's tallying. So whichever one has the most, um, you'll be able to see which score and how they would prefer maybe um, to have those sensory or that learning type of style. So again, students just click and then you would be able to see um, which one they prefer over the other. Um, this could be used, you know, maybe for sensory breaks or if you're trying to um, teach students something, you might wanna provide more visuals or hands-on activities depending on your learner. This next activity is a Google form. So again, you'll have to make a copy of this Google form. And on here, you are going to um, use this with students. Now, it's suggested for students who are pre-K to four and also students that are like MD. So this is more for younger students. And what students, again, will do is you'll have this, and it just talks about high fives. Do they like them? Do they not? Um, hugs, happy faces and smiles, pats on the back, thumbs up. Um, so again, there's all these different um questions that just kind of ask students, do you like it? Do you not? And that way you kind of know, okay, thumbs up is good, or they don't like to be tickled. They don't like applauds. They like that verbal praise. And you're kind of just able to, again, customize how you're going to reinforce your students when they have positive behaviors. This next assessment right here is um, a student preference um, interview. And so this is just kind of letting you know about your students. So again, if you open up this Google form, you can again customize any of these Google forms, but it just talks about who your students best friends are, what they like to do together, um, anything that's good in school, what they like to get um, talk with their teacher about. And so again, there's all these different types of questions, again, just to kind of get connected with your students. So that is a good one to give um, if you have not sent out a survey like that. This forced one um, is cool too. So right here's a video of how to kind of set it up because it is kind of steps. It's not a Google form that you're gonna make a copy of. It is a Google spreadsheet and I need to fix this link. So with this Google spreadsheet, it has some magic with it. And so you are just going to uh, make a copy of that Google sheet. And once you make a copy of that Google sheet, it is going to um, open up like this. And in the video, it goes over kind of looking at the form and you're able to go in and you can edit your form and kind of see what this would look like. But students pick basically between two different options. Um, so do they rather have a teacher writes 100 on their paper or to be first to finish? Like what motivates them more, a bag of chips or classmates? Um, and the reason that this one is a little bit more complicated to set up, and if you need help, feel free to reach out, is because the results are really cool on this one. So depending on how the student answers, it's going to tell you exactly uh, what kind of motivates them. Adult approval, independent rewards, consumables, peer, peer approval, uh, competitive approval. So again, they've got all these different things and you can see these numbers that, okay, this is what my student prefers. 
Then the next one here is, um, again, you can make a copy and there will be a video that's coming for additional resources. Um, so you can kind of watch that video as well. But this is just kind of working with students and kind of observing them. Um, again, if we go back up top, you can again see a quick description to kind of help you. So again, you are usually conducting this one and you're kind of just seeing, okay, which one does the student prefer um, over another one? So again, two items and then they're making a choice. Um, this one right here, the group reinforcer survey. So students, you're going to add your um, options to this survey. And there's kind of a more details here. So example, like chips, chewing gum, pencils, maybe you have a school t-shirt, all the things that you have laying around. Uh, maybe it's, you can wear a hat to school, all of those different things. And then the kids are just going to use this Google form. So again, you're going to want to make a copy. Oh, I need to check that link. Um, so once you make a copy of that Google form, let's go ahead and try to find it. There it is. So this one right here, um, you'll put the item and then they would say if they don't like it or if they really do like it. And again, it just kind of helps you know, okay, I'm going to need to have uh, more hat days in my supply. I'm going to need to have this activity. I'm going to need to do this. Um, I need to have gum on these days because those are reinforcers for your students. And it just kind of helps you stock up your class store if you kind of use this form. So again, it's having your students have a voice in what they earn for that reward. Let me make sure that link works now. Yeah, this is great. I'm able to go in and check all my links. All right. The next one is activities for reinforcement inventory. Students are going to rank, rank their favorite choices from first to last. So again, you'll make a copy. Once you make a copy, you're gonna have card games, for example, and you could change these activities. Students will just rank them in order that they like them. For example, I would say board games is first, technology maybe second, cards third, checkers fourth, chess fifth. Um, and then they could do their outside game and so on. And so then you just, again, you're learning your students, you're learning what kind of motivates them, what they're interested in and how you can use that to kind of help you when you are needing um, to create that for positive behavior. This one has a video as well, um, but this one's really cool. So it's moving motivators and you can see right here, we kind of adapted this, but it is from um, this website down here. So it's management 30 and they have these little cards and they print them out and you can move them around. Um, this is the digital version though, is having these cards and you ask, you kind of go over these with your students and then you set a timer for like five minutes and there's a timer on this slide and then students kind of decide, okay, what's most important and they move these little cards and then they go all the way down here to least important. And again, they're just kind of putting their cards in order from most important to least important. Um, and then again, you can kind of see how they're doing. You can also have a discussion with this. So like what is most important motivators for you? What is similar or different? Why do you think they are similar or different? And then again, they have five minutes to kind of adjust if they needed to. Um, but just a kind of fun way to do this. And again, you could print them out just like they do on moving motivators over here on that website. Um, or you could just have them do it on the Google slide or Jamboard. So again, those are the nine kind of quick summary of all those assessments, but figure out which one you want to use and which one might be best for your class. And again, you might do two of them. You might say, okay, I want to do this personal interview, but I also want to do the moving motivators. Um, feel free to do that as well. And if you need help, reach out to us.